what are the most beautiful things in this world <laughs> it is simply the person standing in front of you whatever is in front of you is the most beautiful things is the borrowed knowledge in your mind which doesn't allow you to find that Helen Keller born on 27 June 1880 in Alabama in the United States died on 1st June 1968 in Connecticut in United States was an American author disabled rights advocate political activist and lecturer she was deaf and blind that was a very shocking thing for any human being they cannot hear they cannot see <coughs> Helen Keller said the best and the most beautiful things in the world cannot be seen or even touched they must be held felt with the heart uh, nowadays people lost the heart in the kali yuga they said people do not have the heart but then we think it was all wrong when the person with with who cannot hear or cannot see and they say then we can understand the heart has got such a beautiful thing anything and everything i once remember the former director general police and his murti was doing the bhajan in rakum school in indranaga he came with the satya sai team so the swami is the disciples some talk came and they were telling sns murti sir you drop your logic it is in your head come to your heart <laughs> sami always has to tell come to your heart <laughs> yes mm, logic for for the sake of argument you argue but to feel it you cannot argue at all the best and the most beautiful things the world cannot be seen or even be touched sometimes people ask me is there god and suppose if i say there is god and they ask me can you put it in a bottle and show me then i used to tell them can you show your love in a bottle <laughs> it has to be felt with the heart but then there is another materialistic love which goes with the opposite persons finance money power etc but that was not true love Love once it melts, it is the most beautiful part. It's so strong, it's so powerful. That's why people were very frightened. And meditators knew once you meditate, when you become empty, your heart melts with the nature, with the world, with anybody they see. And that many people uh, mistake that as brainwashing. Once a person loves the guru or the teacher. because if the guru's heart is very empty and it just attracts the space is so big like the vast ocean was in nature was the universe and the person who is meeting the master feels comfortable in that space and everything flows to that person without anything expecting in return and that shocks many people because the person who gets attracted cannot leave it hence sometimes husbands and wife will whatever be the fight they are unable to disconnect even with all the fight the fights are because of the materialistic gain their borrowed knowledge has not been cleaned every day they have not been able to meditate every day if they meditate then there was no fight because everything coming from the mouth actions of your partner or your wife is gospel of truth anything coming actions or any word coming from the mouth of your husband is just gospel of truth it's just a sanki they just a song it should be felt with the heart the expression itself is flowing water the expression is fresh water flowing water is fresh water no expressions nothing coming out if you the moment you hear them and you try to dissect them and convert it into the english dictionary language uh, then you see there is stagnant water then it starts stinking <laughs> helen keller said the best and the most beautiful things in the world cannot be seen or even be touched they must be felt with the heart 
If you understand that one, you will understand your family. That is the Kudumba. You will understand the joint family, Abhyukta Kudumba. You will understand the family tree, that Vamsha Vriksha. These are the three things. If you have these three, the three murtis, the center eye, third eye will open. And third eye opens. That's why they say the blind can see the kindness is the one thing that the blind can see. The deaf can hear. That kindness, that trimurti, that three eyes, the third eye opens, they say. In the closed eyes, you can see several things. So beautiful open eyes. You intend to dissect it up, intend to convert it into meaningful things from the dictionary language, not through your direct experiences. The best and the most beautiful things in the world cannot be seen or even be touched. They must be felt with the heart. That every student of the school or college or university must understand whatever they study. Take it back home. And when you put it into the as a homework in your house, you can see the house is blooming. Every day there is a growth. Every single day. 365, 365 days of beautiful growth. Then where there is daridriya, poverty, where there is misery, where there is pain. Yes. Even when pain comes, you know, for everyone growth, even for muscles to grow, when you do a lot of push-ups and there is pain, you understand the muscle is growing. If you have not got the pain, it's not growing. <laughs> Melting with the pain is gain. They must be felt with the heart. That heart is very, very important. Once you have the heart, you really don't sit inside. When the rain comes, you run to the rain and you have the ozone water. Aha. When, you, when the ozone water falls into your body, but in the materialistic world, in the in the cities, people get frightened even the rainwater touching because they think cold will come, cough will come, they have to rush up to the doctors and all the hospital doctors are very happy, rain comes. But try to understand, the cold and the cough is because the pipelines are dirty. You are not fasting on weekends or once a month, when you fast it on distilled water, you can see pipelines get cleaned up, then you walk in the rain also, Cold will not catch, cough will not catch, yes. When dirt is there, the body is shouting back at it, please clean up, please clean up. Otherwise, weather is so beautiful. Mm -hmm. Helen Keller said, the best and the most beautiful thing, world cannot be seen or even be touched. They must be felt with the heart.